All right, so this MCP server lets you add internet search capability inside cursor. That means you don't need to switch tabs. Go to Google and break your flow. You can search right inside the editor and 10x your productivity. Everything happens in one place that is cursor IDE. In this video, I'll show you how to integrate the Brave Search API with cursor and also introduce you to a new MCP server called Sequential Thinking. Sequential Thinking helps improve debugging and avoids common AI hallucinations. So you can build apps properly with just a few smart prompts. Let's first check out the Brave Search functionality. I'll demonstrate how it works, then show you how to set it up. Let's say I want to search for something cursor doesn't know, like the current price of Bitcoin. I ask the question, how much is Bitcoin right now? The AI detects that it's a search-based query and calls the Brave Web Search MCP tool. The query is Bitcoin current price. We run the tool and we get the result. Based on the most recent data, the current price of Bitcoin is approximately $76,938. That's real-time info fetched using the Brave Search API and summarized by Claude 3.7 Sonnet inside cursor. Let's try another one. I want to search for the latest UI and UX trends to improve my to-do app. Prompt. What are the latest UI UX trends for 2025 web applications? This triggers the Brave Search MCP again. We run it and we get back results like AI-driven personalization, micro-interactions, 3D elements, dark mode, voice-based UI, real-time collaboration, and data visualization. Let's say I like number five, dark mode. Let's implement that step by step. Now, I'll introduce the second MCP, sequential thinking. Sometimes, large language models hallucinate or give confusing results. With sequential thinking, you guide the model to think through each step before solving the problem. So, to implement dark mode, I prompt it using sequential thinking. It starts with the first thought, analyze the current structure of index.html to see how dark mode can be added. It finds that tailwind dark mode config already exists. Thought 2, yes, there's a dark class available. Thought 3, modify the CSS to support the toggle it continues thought four five six uh, even accessibility improvements are included by thought seven the model is ready to implement the changes we run the tool and now dark mode is implemented into the html file so instead of jumping to code we thought through all seven steps and got a clean hallucination free result by the way if you're new here i've launched a cursor mcp 10 nx tutorials to help you boost productivity and learn mcps like a pro join my school community Link is in the description. Now, back to our app, uh, just accept the changes and push them live. You can also test it in your local environment. And just like that, dark mode is live. Now, let me show you how to integrate these two MCPs. Start with Brave Search, go to GitHub and search for Brave MCP server. I'll share the link to this MCP lets you search the web, find businesses, restaurants, services, all of it. Step one, generate your Brave Search API key. It's free. You get 2000 requests per month. You'll need to sign up and verify with the credit card, but you won't be charged. It's just for verification. Once you're in, go to API keys, generate a new one and copy the key. Then paste that key inside the Brave MCP code in your cursor settings. I'll share the code and commands inside my school community. Once it's added, Brave MCP turns green, meaning it's active. Keep in mind, a cursor has a limit of 40 MCP tools. If something doesn't show, you may need to remove a few. Now let's set up sequential thinking. Search for sequential thinking MCP on GitHub. No API key needed. Make sure you have Docker installed first and then just copy the Docker command, paste it and add it to your MCP list in cursor settings. Once added, you'll see sequential thinking in your tools list. That's it. Now you have both MCPs ready to go. Dark mode is implemented, accept the changes and now we can push it live. Just give the command. Cursor uses the GitHub MCP tool to push, commit and merge the changes or just test it live and look at that. Dark mode is working perfectly fine, all done through thoughtful planning using sequential thinking. This is how simple and powerful app building has become. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and comment. I make content on how to use AI to build a real world apps that can make you money. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.